happy monday you guys today's video is going to be how to make a bikini top the bikini top pattern number will be pattern number two you guys um i don't know if y'all are familiar with um, my instagram but i posted on my instagram and i told you guys that i'm about to start numbering my pattern so it'll be easier for you to remember which pattern you have and if you have any information that you want to know on that pattern then you can let me know by telling me the numbers. So let's slide this right here and we're about to get started. Okay. So first, we're gonna sit this pattern right here. We're not gonna fold it. The reason why we're not gonna fold it is I just don't fold it. I don't even know why, but even though I'm getting two of the same one, I just don't fold it. And when you're using, oh, I did something wrong. Always cut in a square or a rectangle around your fabric, around your pattern. That way it gives you clean, it gives you clean material. See, look. And when you're using fabric that has the words, make sure your words are going directly across. I'm gonna show you what I mean, an example of what I mean. Okay, so you see that my hidden agenda is going across. Does that make sense? So if I was to sit this on here like this, then the hidden agenda would be going this way. So make sure it's going the exact way that it needs to go. Here go one top. I'm cutting a square around it. I'm gonna just go back to right here. And I already have some trim left over from yesterday. There you go. Let's move this to the side. Oh, shoot, I threw it on the floor. Sorry. So we already got trim. I would suggest if you don't have trim, make sure you have at least three to four long pieces of trim. Your trim can be no wider than three inches. Depending on how you want your trim. Let me take that back. So once again, this is pattern number two. So we have our two pieces. Let's sit them out. Here go our trim. Time to work. So we're going to turn it on zigzag. I'm going to come up and make sure you guys got a good view. Let me see. Let me move this. I think it's better right here. Okay. So I'm gonna take my trim. Then I'm gonna fold my trim. And I'm gonna leave some space for some connecting space, you guys. Each. 
And y'all, just so y'all know, um, I do have all my prices are to, for my sewing classes. I do teach beginners, intermediate, professionals. Um, my classes started um, for two hours is $350. You get five free patterns. For $600 is four hours. And you get 10 free patterns. For eight hours, it's $1,000 and you get 15 free patterns. My classes are in person or virtual, so you can learn from anywhere in the world. All you need is a tripod and all you need is your patterns for me and we work on them together. Um, you guys, my Instagram is under Hidden Agenda Brand, the same as this. You can look under our highlights and you can see students that never touch the machine ever in their life and are making clothes. You can see people that are professionals that just want to sharpen their craft. Um, and I also host sewing sleepovers. So in the sewing sleepover, I only book 10 people. Um, it is, um, the next one is April the 17th. I do have like, I think six or seven spots left. All the details to it is on my Instagram. Um, it's where you come, you, you come in town, you hang out with us. We go do a fabric one-on-one -on -one to where we go to the fabric store. I give you the gems about the fabric and you know, how to use what thread, all the good stuff that you need for sewing. Um, um, I feed you breakfast, lunch, and dinner according to the time that you come in. Um, you receive 20 free patterns, which is valued at $500. You also receive a large vendor of your choice, which is a $350 value. Or if you already have my three main vendors, you can get small vendors that equal up to $350. You get to use all of my fabric, all of my elastic, all of my crystals. Um, and we get to sew all night. You get hands-on learning. Um, it's really fun. We've done had two so far. I'm still learning. Every time I want it to be better. Well, I would love to have y'all. It is something that is really good to know. Definitely when you got hands-on learning, it makes everything so much easier. All you have to bring to the class is your sewing machine and your poster boards. Or if you need to rent a machine, I'll go buy a machine and you can rent it for $25. And the only reason why um, it's $25 is because I have to go buy another one. I have two that be available, but it's first come, first serve. So the first two people that book their stuff. Will you shut that door for me? Okay. It's okay. I'm almost done. Um, the first two people that book their, um, their thing and if they need the machine, then they get it first.
So I'm gonna set these out right here. Y'all do not forget, if you need any patterns, even if you don't see them, all you have to do is contact me directly. You can send me a picture, I'll make the pattern for you. And my patterns are so easy. They're copy and paste. You literally put it right on top of your fabric and copy it, trace it, and stitch it. Super simple. Because I hate measuring, y'all. I hate reading all the lines and all of that extra stuff. To me, it's too much. So I stick to what's simple for me. It works. I have a lot of people that are simple and they love me just because my stuff is simple too. But if you do want to learn how to measure, you're definitely going to have to learn the comb someone else because I do not teach measuring. I teach you how to eyeball it and I teach you how to go in and go out. I don't teach you how to pin. I hate pinning. That's just me personally. Everybody prefer what they prefer. One last piece and we're done. And we're done. We can stretch it out and put it on the top.
One more piece. What's up? Mm -hmm. One last piece, and then we're done. Get her drawn. I gotta make this small. We all done. Let's cut off all our strings. Cut off all our extra stuff. One, two. Cut off all our strings. Pull it. Once you pull it, knot it. Once you pull it, Knot it. Pull it. Knot it. So I always tie it up underneath your breast first. I'm gonna tie it like this because I want it to come back around. It do not have to come back around. You can just tie it straight in the back. Your preference. It can come straight up like this. It can come straight up like this like this straight up or you can crisscross it i think crisscross look more sexier yes me it's just my preference you can do it any way you want it don't have to crisscross like that but if it does there you have it use small scissors bikini top. You see it? Ta-da! And I already did the video on the bottoms. So there you have it. I hope y'all enjoyed. Oh, that was not even on it. Sorry, y'all. Oh, there go the top. I'm sorry, y'all. I thought I had it angled. I'm gonna have to go back and look at it now. So I hope y'all enjoy it. There go the top.